Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Justin Witt and welcome to Witness Vision. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like down below and also turn on that notification bell so you get the most fast updates. The most fast updates. We'll go with that. But uh, so I haven't really recorded that much this weekend. Um, I was kind of just laying back, relaxing, and I didn't really feel like being on my phone that much. But uh, we got an interview coming up tomorrow, which will be released on Monday, tomorrow. Um, it's going to be with LeBron Murchison. He played defensive tackle here two years ago. Um, he'll get to tell you a little bit of his process. He had a little different journey than most people that go and play Division One football, but I'll let him tell the story. And then um, I was thinking of a couple ideas I could do to add in here. Uh, leave a comment down below what you guys think, but I was thinking about adding a couple of um, adding gameplays, um, if you guys would be interested in that. Um, so I'm getting kind of stuck in a kind of the same process where like y'all y'all will see my weekend and I'll do um, an interview. Um, I thought I'd try to throw in something else in there, something fun. Um, yeah, just give me your thoughts on it, what you think, and uh, enjoy the interview. So let's get to that. So here I got Laurel Murchison. He was a defensive tackle at NC State. Um, was that two years ago? One year ago, last was whoa, 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 yeah, two years ago now. Two, two years, years ago, ago now. Yeah. He was uh he was drafted in the fifth round, um, to the Titans. So how's that? How how do you like it so far in the NFL? I love it, bro. It's like it's still a dream come true, but you know it's a lot of work to be done. So, you know, I'm just steady grinding it away. But I love it though. It's a, it's it's great. Yeah. yeah. Um. How how like. So that draft process going through like training. So after the season ended, you went off, you trained, came back to pro day. How was that like whole process? Like, was it nerve wracking? Was it fun? Like, how did you go about it? It was, um, the thought of it was like nerve wracking, but like once I got into it um, and, you know, I met different people, it was fun, man. I, I had fun with my whole process, man, from the combine to um, training in uh, at Exos in Texas, like everything was great about it. Yeah. So like, I know that the whole process of like getting into college, um, it's kind of easy for guys who are especially like D1 players, like usually you kind of just fit the mold, but your journey started a little different. Um, you went to a Juco and then you went and went and played division one football. How was that whole process? It was crazy, man. I mean, just thinking about, cause my Juco was real small, like nobody really had ever came out of there. Um, as far as like division one players, so, um, I mean, it's a testimony, man. It's real small. I mean, nobody knows about the small little town. And to, to go to NC State and, you know, have some success, man, it's really, it's really a blessing. So every time I think about it, man, it's a, it's a, it's a unique story, but I appreciate it, for real. Yeah. How, how is the recruiting process like? So, like, you from high school to JUCO, how was that process? And then, like, JUCO to college, how was that process done? Recruiting wise, yeah. Um, so from college in college, so let's JUCO. So first, so you do two years in JUCO. First year, I didn't have anybody talk to me as far as colleges. The second year, um, it took them a while to come out. So probably like that January is when I got my first offer from Ole Miss. Like the dude, like he offered me, and then once he offered me, like a whole bunch of other schools offer me. But I didn't have any offers from North Carolina. So, like, no in-state schools were offered me. So I was already prepared to go out of state. You know what I mean? Like, I was going to go to UGA, but they oversigned their class was too full. So I ended up having to um, – I ended up having to make another decision, but that's when Coach Doran called me. He was like – he like he, he laid out the platform. He laid out everything. I was like, man – I'm staying in state because I'm from North Carolina. So I know, I knew a lot about state. So I was like, it's probably, it's probably better if I stay here and I feel like I can be in a better place, honestly. Yeah. What was like the play different? Like, I know like the competition level is going to be a little different, but like, how was it from going from Juco to division one football, like ACC football? Mm, okay. So in camp, I'll, I'll say it was, it was different because bro, like Juco, I mean, the drills are different. Like, the speed of the game is different. I mean, you just don't know too much until you get around, like, you know, Division One players, you know? 
So, I mean, it's it's a lot different, bro. Like, yeah, it's a lot different. Food, everything is different. Um, competition is way better, but you know, you adapt everywhere you go. So, yeah, I know the jump from like high school to college was a big jump. How's the jump from like college to the NFL? Is there a huge difference in like competition, or is there a lot of like they do better at like um, I would say like preparation? Bro, it's preparation, bro. It's preparation. They are way better. I mean, bro, you see like 30 year old men, bro, they have the same routines every day and they go about it. And it's just like, man, like if I could get to that point right there, I'd be straight. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a, it's another jump. Like, like you said, from high school to college is a jump. From college to NFL is definitely a big jump because the competition is better, of course. Um, you know, and it's just like like I said, you got to just adapt to, to where you are. So uh, yeah. it, it's cool. Yeah. So being on the Titans now, who has been someone who's really like taken you in, helped you out, kind of um, been like a role model to you since you've been in the NFL? Um, the old head, man, um, this dude, Jack Crawford and um, Daquan Jones, those are two people that will tell me like, you know, if I'm struggling with something, they just always be like, man, look, when I was a rookie, you know, I struggled with some of the same things. So, like, don't get your head down about it. Just keep working because um, we got better at it and so will you. So those are two, like, older guys that definitely helped me out. Yeah. So I know being on the Titans, you guys have probably one of the most exciting running backs in the NFL, if not probably the best running back in the NFL right now with Derrick Henry. How is he – uh, in the locker rooms, you a cool guy. I know it's fun to watch him on Sundays and Mondays, but is he a cool guy? Like everyone get along with him? Yeah, I'm a dude. It's, it, everybody's like everybody that's, bro. Everybody that's in the locker room. Period, bro. It's really, it was really surprising to me how humble everybody are. Like everybody, nobody seems like too big to talk to anybody. Like everybody's pretty much humble. Yeah, I know uh, he had that run against um, Josh Norman that kind of blew up when he gave him the stiff arm. How crazy was it being on the sideline and seeing that like in person? Bro, I don't know. It's it's videos where you can see like people on the sideline jumping up, bro. I was jumping up like, oh my God. Like, no, he did not, bro. That zone, that zone was tough. And then uh last thing I got for you is um, so everyone has like someone who they model their game after someone. Um, some people try to do NFL guys, some people like just doing someone their like same age to try to like model their game after who is someone that you kind of follow throughout like your high school and college days that you try to model your game after? Um, man, I'm going to be honest with you. I, in college, my, when I got to NC state, um, I look, I definitely looked at, uh, Justin Jones, bro. Um, I mean, everything about his game, I was watching it and I still to this day, like him, I'll say him, like, um, from how flat he shoots out, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'll say him. I'll try to model my game after him. Yeah. All right, well, that's all I got for you. Um, Laurel Murchison, defense attack for the Titans. I appreciate you jumping on here and doing this for me. Uh, you got any last words for anyone that is about to go through that, like, recruiting process in the college? Um, just take all your visits. Um, make all your... <laughs> Eat all the food that you can. Nah, but, um, bro, just don't try to get too above your head. Like, you know, you get a lot of offers, of course, but just make sure you keep a top five that you really that you really like and make the best decision for yourself. Don't let nobody make it. You make it. Don't let nobody else make it. Appreciate it. Well, thank you again for jumping on here with me. I really appreciate no, it. No problem, man. No problem.